Charles Day 4 gets underway at Ascot with a two-year-old race over seven furlongs. Decent size field for this on the straight seven furlong course at Ascot. And at the top we've got Al Chirillo, Al Chirillo for Darren Thompson. The Taj Mahal also for Darren Thompson. Golden Corvette Dan Hughes has also got Zagalini's Jr. Cornus Parnell for Derek Hinton. Blushing Groom and Breakspear. Martin Leader Magnus Itineribus and Nikolai Lansov for Badreg Hogan. Buck Rogers for Paul Rhodes, running Charger for Graham Clutterbuck, classic approach and pop start of Alex Cherry, Troy's Bird for David Robertson, Izzy Because on White for Derek Hinton, Crispy Batter and Sloppy Joe for Matt Cooper, Johnny Penny and Priory Stall for Munas, Make Me and Rock the Place for Obi Wan, and in Bollum Lady for Paul Fisk and Andromeda for Paul Rhodes at the bottom. So a field of 23 then. And his first race on Trials Day 4. Away they go. Quick out down this near side was the Taj Mahal. Also stable by Al Chirillo. Got out quickly as well. Nicola Lansoff, Sloppy Joe, Blushing Groom. Also work quickly away. But it's the Taj Mahal who's clearing the lead now. In from the grey Zagalini's Junior. Down this near side rail. Make me. The purple and watch drops to Blushing Groom. And next rider on the far side. Sloppy Joe being taken on by Buck Rogers. But it's... The Taj Mahal who's got the lead then as they pass the five furlong pole. The Taj Mahal's in the lead then. It's virtually three in a line. Make me, Zagalini's Jr. and Blushing Groom. Buck Rogers behind him. Sloppy Joe's after that. There's two right over on the far side racing on their own. One of them is the Alex Cherry Horse and one of them I think is Rock the Palace. But it's the Taj Mahal who's got the lead at this point. The Taj Mahal is about three lengths clear from in second place. Make me up the centre of the track with the grey Zagalini's Jr. Blushing Groom after that one. Down on this near side. Buck Rogers has got the rail. Sloppy Joe. Blushing Groom, Nikolai Lansoff trying to get into it as well. Also, Golden Corvette is running on, but it's still the Taj Mahal in the lead with two furlongs left to go. The Taj Mahal leads by two lengths down this near side. Buck Rogers is second. Zagalini's junior, the Grays in third. Blushing Groom drops away, but it's Taj Mahal who's clear still as they come towards the final furlong. Taj Mahal is in the lead from Buck Rogers down this near side. Zagalini's junior, the Gray finishing like an absolute train. It's out to Chillo, but it's the Taj Mahal in the lead. Zagalini's junior and out to Chillo coming. So is Golden Corvette down on his near side. Out to Chillo swoop. And takes it on line. Alter Chillo wins it from stable mate. The Taj Mahal second. Troy's bird finished like a train. Uh, classic approach was the last one to finish. And Darren Thompson continues his fine run of form in these trials. No Vinnie Gerard and no Joshua Sutherland today. So looks like Darren Thompson and David Robertson and Dan Hughes are going to be the big guns and they filled the first five places between them in the first race. Al Chichillo for Darren Thompson, the winner, a long time leader, the Taj Mahal was second. Troy's Bird, David Robertson third. Golden Corvette was fourth for Dan Hughes who also took fifth with Zagalini's Jr.